Hey, Jeremy. Austin White with the Portland Tribune. Uh, you know, first, obviously, you know, a lot of the talk was, you know, it's been for a couple of years of the Blazers, you know, potentially trying to get you. So I'm curious, you know, how long has your interest been kind of playing with the Blazers and, you know, being with this team and playing with Dame? Um, definitely excited to be here. Um, like you said, it's definitely been talks uh, for a while. And uh, de definitely just excited to be here, uh, excited to be a part of the team, uh, obviously be able to play with Dame, um, Nurk, you know, a bunch of other great players here. Um, like you said, it's, it's been in the, in the talks and stuff like that. But, um, you know, you just want to focus on where you're at at the time. So, like, you try not to think about it too much, but excited to be here. Jeremy, uh, Jason Quick with The Athletic. It seems like in today's NBA that relationships are important for players to be playing. And it, it sounds like you and Dame kind of forged the foundation of a friendship at Team USA. What, what was it that you kind of identified that, hey, I click with this guy? Uh, just the way he acts. Uh, he's real. He's a real person. Um, a lot of times you don't really get that with a bunch of other players and people that you, you're around. Uh, so we kind of clicked pretty, pretty fast. Um, and th since then, uh, we've been building our relationship and it'll just go further from here. And just knowing him like you do, can you gauge what his motivation is like right now? Yeah, he's, um, he's locked in for sure. Uh, he's definitely ready to, to come back this year and, and win and, um, and do a lot. And, and not, I'm the same way. So um, we definitely clicked on that. So I'm sorry, just one more. Just like how can you tell he's locked in? Uh, his, just his demeanor. Um, I think that's just who he is. But uh, you can tell he has a little bit more motivation right now. So. Uh, the impressions from you, from your teammates, have been that you're this versatile athlete and all of these things that can really help them. What, who among the new guys, among your new two teammates, has stood out to you when you've been in the gym? Uh, it's a lot of talent. I think it's a lot of young talent. Um, and maybe the league doesn't really know um, how talented these young players are. Um, I think we, you know, uh, they need a little bit more experience and stuff like that. But. Uh, it's a lot of young talent here. Um, obviously, uh, Anthony, um, great talent. Um, Nas, uh, Josh, um, and then the, the older players that has already uh, been proven. So, did that perception change for you? Like when you showed up, was there anyone like, "Oh, I didn't, I re didn't realize he was like that" or anything? Um, yes, I think uh, a lot of a lot of the players. Um, you know, like when you're playing against them and, you know, in the games and stuff like that, uh, you see, you know, you see flashes and stuff like that. But um, when you're in the gym with them, you know, for a few weeks, uh, you get to see uh, exactly who they are as a player and, like, you know, how they go. So. Hey, Jeremy, Bill Orham with the Oregonian. How did having the opportunity to be a number one and a lead option uh, in Detroit um, change how you, how, you, how you approach the game? And, and then how will that help you coming into a situation where, you know, you know Dame's the guy, uh, but, you know, where, how do you see that experience helping you here? Uh, I think it's going to help me a lot. I think um, throughout my career, I've been through different stages um, where I have to show uh, different things. And um, I think me being in Detroit helped me to grow a lot uh, as a player, as a leader. Um, and uh, I do intend to, to bring that over here, uh, obviously changing my role um, on this team, but uh, still bringing the same mentality, the same energy, uh, the same attention to detail to, to here. Jeremy, Danny Brank, 1080 The Fan. Beyond your role change, there might be some positional change. Chauncey Billups has kind of hinted at playing you at some small ball five. Uh, with the Olympic team, obviously there's a lot more positional versatility. That's just something that you're just kind of accepting and going with, or is that something you're kind of looking forward to doing is maybe swapping between three, four, and five throughout the season? Um, definitely looking forward to it. Uh, my whole career, I've been um, at every different position you can name um, throughout on the court. So I'm expecting more of the, more of the same um, in that aspect. And uh, I'm expecting to play uh, a, a bunch of different positions on both ends of the court. 
Jeremy Nick Krupke from Fox 12 in Portland here. Basketball can be kind of a circle of life thing. What excites you about coming back to the place you were born? Obviously, your dad played here. I don't know if you recall that, but um, we're here. Yeah. See, I don't know if you recall him playing here, but you, you were certain here. Yeah. Um, no, nah, it's amazing just to be born here. And uh, like you said, it's a full circle for it to come full circle uh, and be able to play in the same city that my dad played in, uh, that I was born in, that, you know, we lived here. Um, it's just a surreal feeling. Um, so I'm excited to, you know, be a part of this organization and, uh, and, and grow from here. So we'll do our last one. Jeremy, Jamie Hudson with Coin and the Blazers. Um, so you talked about being excited to play uh, with Dame and Nurk. With Nurk, he's a big fella that we know likes to pass. Uh, yeah. How do you see uh, the two of you uh, working out on the court? I think it's going to be a great connection. Um, he likes to pass. I like to cut. Um, I'm athletic. Um, I don't know if he's played with someone athletic like me, but um, he'll have a big target to hit uh, on his passes. So I'm excited about that. Um, I'm excited about that connection uh, on both ends, so, yeah. Thank you all.